What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So when we talk about Terra Luna Classic, I know there's a lot of people that just doubt it. They doubt what's going to happen, and they doubt that we're going to get to a penny, to a 10 cents, to a dollar, all of these levels that, you know, we can see it getting to, some more possible than others. Um, and we know of the strength, we know of the amount of people, we know of the movement, we know of how much you can actually gain in positions like these, because we've seen it before, right? Um, but there are others out there that completely doubt the entire thing. And I wanted to get into that and give them a response because there's, you got to look at this a different way, you know, and people may look at certain positions and say that, you know, something might run. Um, let's say for me, I, I don't really like Bitcoin. Do I say that Bitcoin's not going to make a move? No, I think Bitcoin can definitely make the moves that it, uh, it can get up to 50,000, 60,000, all these other levels, but I don't sit here and doubt that Bitcoin's going to move at all. Um, there are people out there that will doubt a position like Terra Luna Classic because of the fact that it it did crash in the past, right? It did get to a, a lower level and now it has a new community and what it once was, it always will be. That's what they're saying. <clears throat> so I wanted to kind of get into that and break this down and why your mindset, mindset should change um, just a little bit when it comes to investments in general and not just shoot everything down completely and say that it does not have potential to even do anything. So guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. We have a couple of referral links right at the top of the description if you wanna check those out. Um, we also have my Patreon if you wanna sign up for that. Um, and if you guys wanna check out any of my other channels, those links are down there as well. And these are the channels, Golf Channel, Investing Channel, Reaction, and the Gaming Channel that we have there. If you wanna subscribe to any of those, feel free to subscribe to those and uh, be a part of it. We do upload pretty fre frequently on some of those things. Um, but anyways, the entire crypto market is not looking that perfect today, right? Um, we're not seeing an amazing movement. We're also not seeing a, a crazy drop in it. So it's good to see just some uh, something level out. And it was leveling out yesterday. We didn't see much movement uh, from most. Some things did make some moves, um, like always. <clears throat> but we're seeing Bitcoin, you know, around 22, 28, uh, or 22.8 uh, K. And, um, you know, Ethereum around 1600. Now, when you watch this, it may be a different time frame, somewhere around maybe even seven o'clock PM. I'm recording this at 9 AM. So understand that the numbers may fluctuate, but the overall idea or sentiment behind the video, uh, is the same thing, right? It, it means the same. So anyways, for Terra Luna classic, we scroll down here, we're going to see that it's around 40th, right? Uh, 40 or almost 50th at this point. Um, at a $1 billion market cap. We're seeing other things that are pushing up past the $1 billion market cap, $2 billion, $3 billion, as far as like Aptos and other things like that, $2 billion for Aptos, $2 billion for ApeCoin. So things are making some moves. Terra Luna Classic, on the other hand, has not made much or many moves. It's been standing still kind of, and it's at about 4% uh, decrease today. <clears throat> We're seeing it at 1786. Uh, Volume is down by 25%. Um, and, you know, you're seeing the uh, market cap again at that $1 billion uh, mark. We want to see the supply decrease down to get to a certain level. Now, I made a video yesterday uh, talking about, um, you know, how uh, burning every zero, right? This was the video somewhere right here, uh, dropping every zero on Terra, on Terra Luna Classic's price. And it got a decent amount of views. And it also got some comments talking about how Terra Luna Classic is not going to make any type of move and that you shouldn't even be worried about this at all. You should not be invested into it. And I think people will be sorry. They will, they will definitely, um, the doubters will be sorry that they didn't invest into it. Um, because at minimum, you can expect what Bitcoin or Ethereum or all these other levels are going to gain, right? To say that this can't get to a $6 billion market cap is ridiculous. To say that this can't get to a two, three, $4 billion market cap is ridiculous. That's a two x return, 3x return, 4x return, like these levels that we can get to are at such a, a high, um, not such a high level by market cap, but such a low level by market cap um, that you can definitely expect them to move to this place because they've been there before. Terra Luna Classic at these low levels has been to three, uh, 3 billion. That is a 2x return, right? You're seeing that, or sorry, 3x return that you can see that, um, you know, increase. So, 
why doubt this to even move at a 3x or 4x or 5x when you can look at Bitcoin and that's doing the same thing when that doesn't really have a use case either. And I think Terra Luna Classic will be able to develop more and more of a use case and become more deflationary um, until it gets to a point to where it reestablishes the minting, reestablishing the algorithm and repegging to the dollar for USTC. Um, but people will be sorry because this is a, a 5X return or 3X return at minimum. What you're looking at with something like Bitcoin is the minimum probably being a 2x return, maybe being somewhere around a 500, actually the minimum being less than that, I guess, because you're looking at a trillion or hundreds of billions of dollars that's flowing through Bitcoin. And if that loses popularity and something else takes over, well, now Bitcoin's not as, as heavily sought after as it once was. And you're looking at Ethereum, you're looking at ADA, you're looking at BNB as some of the top players. And, um, you know, you're looking at maybe a a 4X return from 25, let's say it's $25,000, a 4X return up to $100,000. I mean, that's 4X. For Terra Luna Classic to have a 4X, it's a $4 billion market cap. This is the difference between something that has a low market cap versus a high market cap. And I'm not saying that Terra Luna Classic needs to be compared to Bitcoin, but what you need to do is look at it differently. If you can't find a single return within a position, then you are not a, a profitable trader. You are not a profitable investor because there's always, there's always opportunities to find and always positivity that you can find within any position. So if you can't find um, that in here, you're either not profitable or you are just kind of a, a hater to whatever is out there, right? Because it's popular, you don't understand why it's popular and you hate it. And I don't like that at all. I have never said that I don't see an opportunity in any position. I can tell you when something looks like it's going to be heavily diluted, when something looks like <clears throat> it's going to, in the long run, you know, decrease your position or decrease that price. So wherever you're investing in now might not be the best opportunity. However, it still does have opportunity in it if you can see how the price has been moving or how the uh, utility is is being um, used, right? <clears throat> so you have to find positivity in everything. And I think truly, truly, I truly believe that Terra Luna Classic doubters will be very, very sorry that they didn't get into the position, just like a lot of people were sorry about making a move into Shiba Inu because it's about the investment, right? The investment is what makes us happy. The gains are what makes us happy. And even though we're saying we're in it for the use case, we're in it to gain something extra out of it. We're in it to turn our $1,000 into 10, uh, $10,000, not $10, $10,000 or $100,000. We're in it to turn our $1,000 into 1,500. The point is, is that we're looking to gain a gain. And if you can gain something um, more in a position that you feel like is not at the top of the market cap, right? You can, or top by market cap, the top of the list by market cap, you can find so much potential in some of those lower ones um, that you can actually see more of a gain if you uh, risk a little bit more. It is a little bit more risky, but you know, you're know you able to gain a little bit more or you can risk the same amount as what you would risk with Bitcoin or something, right? You may have a higher risk here, $1,000 here with a higher risk and $1,000 here with a lower risk. You turn that $1,000 into 1,100 over here or 1,500 and you capture half of what you invested here. And then you turn that $1,000 over here that's more risky into $10,000. And now you can invest $1,000 more into the safe position that you wanted to do. I don't understand where uh, a lot of people's logic, uh, you know, a lot of people's logics are. Um, but it just doesn't make sense to me at all. So guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, at PerryAK, you can follow me over there. Don't forget about my Patreon link and all the other stuff that's uh, down there as well. So I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.